Move on then to Kothbiro. The rains are already here. Kothbiro means the rain is coming. The rain has come. The finals have come as well. And uh, we are finally being told that there is a report on who won and who did not win. It's not about who's running away with the prize money this time round. It's not about a semi-final that has not been done and another one has been done. Here is Claretta Viambo with that report. Curtains closed on the 46th edition of the Koth Bureau Football Tournament on Saturday. Pumwani Sports Club were crowned champions after they beat Kingston FC 2-0 in a match that was played at the Umeme Grounds in Zuwani. Pumwani goals were scored by Shaban Mbwana. The win saw Pumwani walk away with a cash prize of 200000 Kingston FC got 100000 and Botella Kamaliza from the Great Botella Estate got 70,000 shillings. The prize money was sponsored by Hussein Mohammed of Extreme Sports. Other cash prizes that were awarded include the Golden, golden Gloves that was sponsored by Arnold Rigi and the MVP player that was sponsored by Toldo Kuraya. From the management of the Coth Bureau tournament, we want to thank our fans for braving the rains and coming to watch the entertaining matches at the grounds. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Claret. Uh, in case you're wondering, Toldo Kuraya is also called Toldo Kuria. <laughs> <laughs> but this being Kothbiro, it can <laughs> never just end the way it is. Now, listen, there was Botella Kamaliza. <laughs> Third. <laughs> Congratulations, Kamaliza. But finally, <laughs> Kamaliza didn't get any money. <laughs> <laughs> they did. 70,000, Bob. Kamaliza oh, oh, but, oh, but, oh, it's Botella Kamaliza. Yes. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. from Botella. Yes, of course. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Well, yeah. How can you not know Botella Kamaliza? <laughs> 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 but at least that name is got... very intriguing. Yeah? Oh, there's other names. There's usually much Team FC, there's yeah. Guay FC, there's so many other teams in that in that. These are just the finalists. You should hear the complete list of <laughs> go, a thousand street and all that. I, 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 we've been following I, it. So. I think what but, you have to say, Bernard, is uh, to congratulate no, Clarence. Let, let me even usher you into this. Eh? Yeah. If you notice um, uh, off season tournaments mm -hmm. in literally every county in this country mm -hmm. was getting full attention of everyone in the villages. What absolutely, do you think? Absolutely. I mean if you look at uh, football right now you know everyone is wants to uh, to participate even the small teams and uh, it, it tells you where football is moving uh, as, as, a, as a country whereby there is a lot of interest because by the time that you know I mean they are attracting sponsors remember that Bernard it is so difficult to, to attract any sports unless, unless there is a lot of interest mm -hmm. so that means there is a lot of interest in football and especially this uh, the, the off-season tournaments, yeah, the off -season okay. tournaments I think Scott, Scott Biro really just has its own niche eh? but, 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 but yeah, it's been there for very long but, but on top of on top of that and, and, and you must give credit to these guys. Remember, it's not been played in the off-season. It's been paid, played now. And they still have enough players, more than enough players, and they still have spectators filling the good I can even grounds. tell you the Premier League I players are probably feeling very bad that they, they must play in it. Be, because yes. usually what, what used to happen is that when it was off-season, they would all come back and exactly. play there. And also put, give, give some knowledge to the younger players, you know, exhibit some of the skills that they have in those, in those podiums. But we, we, we must really congratulate them for keeping it going in spite of all the problems that Kodbiro has, it still happens every year. Congratulations. And it still to, gets to the end. Congratulations to Puma. In, in spite of all the drama. And a big, big <laughs> thank you to those guys who and, came and, out. And, and, Arnold Origi, the ones who've come out to sponsor. Sabio, you yes. know, Kempes yes. was Kempes, them as well. As well. Yeah. Sabi Chole was yeah. part of it as yeah. well. Now they you're being told well. that there was also prize money given out. But this, this is good. Congratulations. It's very Kodbiro. nice. And thank you very much, Claret, for all those reports. <laughs> Again, uh, that Claret report was also part of the Cosmic feature. Of course. Of course. With a lot of enthusiasm. You know, it's very dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the way the Cosmiro that, is. That's what Cosmiro is. This yeah? is actually a very yeah. soft drama in terms of what Cosmiro is. This is the kind of drama you want to hear from this other side. If you have to hear it from the other side, yeah. it will be too much drama. But well done, Cosmiro. And we wait to hear what will happen the next season. The Rugby World Cup just ended in France. It ended in favor of South Africa by just one point. The the most difficult and one of the most difficult games that have been played and uh, uh, South Africa having won the quarterfinals by one point, semifinals by one point and the final by one point just tells you that this was a very, very difficult tournament.